Definitely wanted to get yours on there.
Well, guys, I think that ends up uh, being the end of the show here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed everything. I figured I'd end on this nice little old barn door. He's working on removing that red paint, or orangey paint. And there was a lot of uh, cars that I couldn't even get to that were out in the parking lot. Um, there was tons more that I just couldn't walk around them fast enough to get videos. And there was always people in the way. So I got what I could. Unfortunately, I couldn't get everything. Uh, I did miss some swap meet finds uh, that I could have gotten uh, if I wasn't taking video footage. But anyway, uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Please like, share, and subscribe. Push those buttons and leave a comment. Talk to you in the next one. Well, I gotta say, there's nothing like a running, driving, barn door 23 window to start a show video. So stay tuned and like to see your comments. Make sure you grab the like button and uh, let's get started taking a look at some cars. That's all BW buses here.
Gently used.
All right, we're here. Let's go check out some cars.
at the front of this thing too. Oh my goodness. Alright guys, and from what shows, which cars go to the next? <laughs> How's that? We got a uh, small meetup over here at Riverside now, and it's starting to get a little darker. We had a great time at the last show. So, uh, met up with a lot of people from uh, San Diego chapters. It was kind of cool. Uh, a lot of subscribers there. Uh, one of the cool things is, is uh, one of the guys there was showing me how that, uh, with the help of the videos, not all all the help. I mean, he didn't even know how to weld and started uh, putting in his own panels. He was able to put in his cargo floors, jack points, outriggers, all that stuff, and did it all himself. So, you guys, that's what the channel is all about: learning and. Uh, Getting your car done, driving it, having fun, and enjoying whatever way you want to do your metal work. I'm trying to, you know, show you faster ways for some people. Some of you guys are still going to do it the other ways, or you know, butt welding and stuff like that. Which is either one is fine. Uh, it just depends on how quick you want to get done, what the repair is, how strong you want it to be. So anyway, I'll bring you guys back in in a minute. Just thought we'd take a little cruise here, do a little talking while we're riding. I'll talk to you a little bit later.
All right, guys, you guys ready for the old car stuff? This is the VW Treffen, and what's cool about this show is it's all uh, 61 and older cars. So there's all very old cars here, um, a lot of split windows. So stay tuned. We'll check it out. All right, I'm just going to do a quick walk through this little part of the show. Um, because it was in the shade, I wanted to just do a quick walk through on it and then really won't be very long into the video. We're going to get into some amazing Kubel wagons, um, Schwimmwagens and, uh, KDF cars from, uh, the war, um, pretty amazing stuff. And we've got some split window bugs coming up, uh, barn door buses, a guy drove all the way from Idaho in a barn door bus uh, and he's a guy that I know so hang in there uh, just for a second and we'll get right into that in just a minute
Alright guys, this is a real Porsche Speedster and the car that's coming up next is a super rare Porsche uh, race car. Uh, I don't know 
Paul about it. I, I did talk to the guy for a little bit. Um, it is all aluminum, the one next to it, you can see there. But this is a Porsche Speedster. If you notice the thing on this I was trying to get you guys to see is the, how that the aerodynamics of the roof are on the Speedster, how that they had the uh, convertible top uh, kind of is supposed to be aerodynamic and lower in the front than in the back if you see that right there. Yeah, if you can just see that roof, how it goes up an angle. Now this uh, guy has this car here. We, I don't really know what model it is. I heard there's only three of them made. Um, this is all aluminum. Uh, there is no you know, no steel on it, uh, other than possibly you know some of the suspension parts and whatnot. Um, I did talk to the older guy who owned it, and. Uh, he said it weighs 1,100 pounds, so that's all aluminum. The whole back is um, hand formed, and you can even see um, if I show the passenger seat. I think I got that in the video where they hand pour, pounded and formed the uh, the passenger seat and with uh, hammers by hand and all kinds of stuff. You can see the little hole there. That's not a fiberglass kit. This is a real hand-pounded aluminum car. Of course, this one, uh, the best in its class, of course, and uh, it was quite amazing to actually see it. And even on video, it's pretty, pretty cool to see something like this. So, yeah, he pulled away the seat for me to show me that it was actually all aluminum and hand pounded so anyway there's so many nice cars here um, we're about to hit the really cool area coming up so stay tuned and you'll see a lot of split windows coming up here split window bugs uh, barn door buses uh, more really rare cars that uh, there's only a few of and most of them are crushed and gone so on to the split windows i'll talk to you a bit later
I, I, I like hobbies because they they were cheap, you know.
I don't know how we're gonna get this off.
See, I didn't put my hatch up, so. Well, that's in great shape. You got the ice box too. What's the thing on the other side? The two cabinets there. I was gonna make those too, I think, yeah. but I haven't got to it yet. Yeah, just a storage cabinet. Cause I usually catch Westies. <laughs> SL23s, I'm always looking for them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hung out here with these cup hats and snacks. Nice. Oh, yeah, that's the way to do it. Um, <laughs> we need comfort, you know? Oh, yeah. I'd tell you. Class 8-2, split window, 1950 to October 1952. Your runner-up. All right, so a little late arrival to the show. This is not really a car show. It's actually just a event for Hot VW's Drag Day. So stick around. We'll check out some cars and uh, watch some drag races.
over here in the right lane. Dial 4 minutes, 17 seconds, point three. Only 4 minutes, 13. Now we're going to try to chase down. Welcome to the rally.
So yeah, we're driving the Audi today. Just cruising the Audi. We got the air on. It's hot. It's gonna be 105, 108 on the drive home. And like I said, I don't want to do that two times.
It's a great interim interior, man. Yes. It's like. Good man. Well, last I heard, they were meeting up over here where I was going. And let's just see if they are. We'll drive on over there and take a look. Thank you.
check out some cars a little bit later we'll go out and go for a ride you know, right on the beach line so make sure you stay for that i'll see you guys later
right guys let's go for a cruise i think we're gonna get in the bus and go for a ride stay tuned
Volkswagen. I don't know how he can go any slower. You guys can't see they were people were having a lot of fun there it was a lot of fun for me uh, it was really cool I met some a uh, couple from New York and uh, the guy was originally from Ar Argentina and he has a 56 bus down in Argentina uh, they were planning on this year going down to Argentina to pick up the bus and the pandemic uh, wouldn't allow them to go down so they decided they had already scheduled the time and uh, they had already figured out, you know, budgeted money. And they so they decided to go ahead and buy a bay window in Florida that they found and drive it across the United States. So they started a YouTube channel. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and post that in the description and uh, feel free to go over and check it out. It's kind of cool. Uh, nice attractive young couple and they're uh, traveling the United States right now in a nice uh, cool looking bay window they picked up in Florida and uh, they have interesting content they're putting out getting their channel just started so anyway give them a like go over there and get a little subscribe they're trying to get their that first thousand so they can start uh, helping out with a little bit of extra money to pay for their trip so anyway I'll talk to you guys in the next video hope you enjoyed it uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Our campsite we were at. So, yeah, we're at uh, El Prado. This is the biggest show in the world uh, that I know of. And there was 2,000 cars here, um, the last one we had. So anyway, we're gonna go check out some of it. I'll show you the valley, bring you back in in a little bit.
So this whole big valley all the way over there will be full of cars. I'm not sure they got some mud down on the bottom of it. But um, all the way to the street over here will be full of cars back there where the trees are. That'll be full of cars. We'll go check them out in a little bit here when they come in. Just wanted to give you guys a little early morning preview what's happening and then uh, get you guys let's see how far away that is way over there all the way where that bugs rolling past that all the way past what you can actually see will be cars in probably about an hour it'll be pretty full all right it was starting at 5 30 or 5 o'clock they started bringing cars in because they have so many to bring in all right, let's check it out.
Well, man, I've got to tell you guys, this is a epic show. Uh, I no way I will get the whole thing filmed. I mean, I'm in the fringes out here, and here we are with a early single cab. You know, most of these were not shipped to the U.S. Most of them were Germany, from Germany or Europe somewhere. And came home with servicemen. Now there's a whole thing on these uh, single cabs. But I'm just in the fringes of the show. I just go into the restroom. It's crazy. There's just a million cars here. Tons of them. So Hello. keep watching. Hello. We'll see what happens.
We're gonna do a turn around here. Show you guys how big this show is. And if I can do that, you guys should see it a little bit better. That's that same valley from the other side of it. These cars are still coming in. This isn't even all the show either. It goes way over there. In fact, the stuff I was filming earlier was way out there.
Right, we're here out at Octo. Let's go walk around and take a look at what's around here. We've got quite a few buses. I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. Enjoy the video.
Where's the engine sound? There's no noise. It's Jehu Garcia, electric bus. in here. 